Lash here and today I'm doing a vlog about my shoes. Well, some of them. I was pressed last Friday when I relaunched my Friday Shoegasm. I was asked if I would video or make a vlog of me walking in heels because obviously the people who read my blog and watch my vlogs don't believe that I actually can walk in heels. Now, most of you know, if you've read my blog for, for a while, you'll know how much I love high heel shoes and how much I love shoes in general. So, today I'm going to give you a wee bit about me vlogging in shoes. Okay, you can't see my shoes at the minute, but you will soon. But I wanted to give you a wee bit of a background on what kind of heels that I do wear. Now, normally, uh, I don't wear heels at home, obviously. I love barefoot or in a simple pair of flat shoes like this. Just the normal flat ballet pump type things. So I generally wear my high heel shoes when I go to work every day. I've got various sizes of high heels, but I generally don't wear the really little kitten heels. It's not my style, I don't really like it. Maybe I haven't had found a pair that I enjoy wearing yet, but I have recently bought a little pair of three inch heels which I think are pretty funky, very sort of retro, vintage looking, and they are super easy to walk in. I mean, who can't walk in a three inch heel? Yeah, so that's where my sort of heels start at. But like I say, I've only got this pair. Most of my heels are sort of this height, which is probably about a four and a half inch heel. That's where I'm comfortable with. I can go up to something like a five and a half inch heel, like this one, um, and I'm still pretty comfortable wearing it. I can only really wear them for four to five hours while I'm at work, and not too much walking. Up and down the office is fine, but anything outside I don't generally do, and that's why I always keep a pair of flats in my boot, for that reason. So, let me go through the ones that I have vlogged myself wearing for you today. That would be, these ones are probably about a four and a half inch heel. And um, as you can see, they're not a platform, so it actually makes them a wee bit more difficult to walk in when they don't have that little extra platform, especially for short people like me. And you can see that the pitch of the shoe, this part of the shoe is called the pitch, the pitch of the shoe um, is quite curved. It's got a nice arch to it, so it makes it a little bit easier to walk in. Whereas if you get up to um, some, a five and a half inch heel, which you can see the pitch here uh, is a heck of a lot steeper, so it makes it a wee bit more um, difficult to walk in. But once you get used to walking in heels, it really doesn't matter what size heel you wear. You know, you, your feet are kind of used to it and you get your balance right. And once you've got your balance right, then it's pretty easy. Also, with a, with a heel like this, this is one of my favourites to wear. Because it's got an ankle strap, you've got that little extra bit of support at the top. So you're not wobbling as much and it keeps it nice and secure. And they're super cute. Um, then also a lot of my shoes have got backs on you can see I do these are slim backs obviously and they they tend to get like uh, stretched at the back here because there's a little bit of elastic that keeps the shoe on I love slim backs but they don't last as long as a normal back shoe these are a wee bit different I call these my hooker heels <laughs> because they don't have a back on them and they don't have an ankle strap or they don't have a sling back even. These are probably a four and a half inch heel and it's quite a big platform as you can see which makes it easier to walk in. Um, and these are pretty comfy to wear actually. They are one of my comfiest high heel shoes to wear, believe it or not. And then for somebody who's just like starting out wearing high heels and is a little bit intimidated by the stiletto part, you should go for something like a wedge shoe. This is my cute iron fist um, wedge shoe and it's a bit easier to walk in these for a beginner and it would be even easier if it had a wee bit of a platform but these are pretty flat 
and this is probably about four and a half inch heel in its own. Um, so maybe you would start with, with a little bit of a three inch wedge or a four inch wedge and work up to something like this, which is a really thin stiletto heel. Um, as you can see, I love my platform shoes. They're just easier for me to balance in. And it gives me probably another two inches height as well, which I'm always looking for because I'm over five foot. Nothing! So, that was my shoes for today. Now you can watch me walk in them. Cheers for now, Plonkers. Bye!